Uh, and speaking of reality, <laughs> there's another Rick Perry ad. And this one isn't, this one isn't as sort of wonderfully delicious as the idea that he's not ashamed to be a Christian. And uh, it's horrible that we have gay people and uh, that they serve in the military and that Christian children can't celebrate Christmas openly. You know, they have to do it like Anne Frank. It's not, it's not that good. But it is, in its own sort of strange way, sort of insane. Now, it's a bit of a visual. Um, but we will post the, uh, the video on our site. But I want to play this anyways. It's an old-fashioned American story. I married my high school sweetheart, but first I had to wait as he volunteered for the Air Force and flew planes all over the world. There he goes. You know, this is uh, Rick Perry's wife. And it's just like, oh, I just want to say, incidentally, also, he was a real pilot. He was in the army. I married him. He didn't we, just fly planes, he flew them all over the world. That's right. And we're, we've been together. In other words, I'm not his third wife. And he did not sleep with a woman when he was in the military. Certainly not a woman. Not a woman. I'm Anita Perry. When Rick's tour of duty as a captain in the Air Force ended, he returned home to farm with his dad and asked me to marry him. Oh, he also uh, set up that old hunting camp uh, with the big rock that said, uh, you know, what do they call it? Uh, uh, niggerhead? Niggerhead, yes. But that was just, that, I, I think they, they had to cut that for time. We grew up in small towns raised with Christian values. Of course they did. Of course it was Christian, not Mormon, in other words. Values we still believe in. And we know Washington, D.C. could use some of that. I'm Rick Perry, and I really approve this message. I'm Rick oh, Perry, my God! I really approve this message. Rick Perry just jumped in. Into the middle. He just jumped in there. He just said, I like to scare my wife. <laughs> Vote for me. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> and I'm not gay. And look, my back works. I'm not on medication. I wonder if... Can we just... I'm going to look at that last minute again because I'm fairly convinced... This was an outtake, and they just decided, like, let's just keep it. Okay, I'm just going back. Here she is. She's talking. She has no idea that, that someone's about to drop in from outside of the frame. I'm Rick Boom. Perry, and I really approve this message. <laughs> it's an and, and my favorite story. part is, like, where she tries to lean into him, but can't quite get there. I wonder how many takes they took of this. Or if it was just, like... Uh, Rick, we're doing one with Anita. Wait, what do you, Rick? Oh, he just jumped in there. <laughs> Let's check one more time. He could use some of that. I'm Rick Perry, and I really approve this message. It would be great if there's outtakes of him, like, you know, slipping or not, not making right. it into the frame, and you see, like, half his face. They do that same smash cut that you use, like, when someone's, you know, jogging, and then you pull out quick, and they're just hitting the tree or something, whatever that is. Uh, Rick Perry... Thank you so much for being in this race. Thank you so much for being in this race.